everyone. Welcome to our sixth video tutorial in basic calculus. In today's session, we're going to discuss illustrating the derivative of a function. But before that, uh, let's first discuss this one, the equation of the tangent line. The precise definition of a tangent line relies on the notion of a secant line. Let C be the graph of a continuous function y is equal to f of x, and let P be a point on C. A secant line to y is equal to f of x through p is any line connecting p and another point q on c. In the figure on the right, the line pq is a secant line of y is equal to f of x through p. So, ito yung ating function. Ayan, sketch ng graph ng y is equal to f of x. So, we have here points p and q. Ngayon, class, kung nare-recall natin, in geometry, dinidefine natin ang secant line as a line intersecting a circle in exactly two points. So, when we're talking about this one naman, uh, when we have here a curve, medyo similar in definition niya. So, as we can see here, we have here a line, um, and then it intersects our curve at points P and Q. Next. If the sequence of secant lines to the graph of y is equal to f of x, through P approaches one limiting position, in consideration of points Q to the left and from the right of P, then we define this line to be the tangent line to Y is equal to F of X at P. So again, ito yung function natin. Y is equal to F of X. We have here points P and Q. Kapag kumuha tayo class ng points uh, to the left of Q, and then nagdraw ulit tayo dyan ng secant line. And then another point, secant line ulit. Another point here, and then magdraw ka ng line. Uh, between this point and then uh, yung point P natin under the secant line. Itong line L na to, uh, this one will be the tangent line. And kung natatandaan natin class, in geometry, uh, dinidefine natin yung tangent line as a line intersecting the circle at exactly one point. So medyo similar yun dito sa case natin ngayon when we have a curve. So consider the graph of a function y is equal to f of x whose graph is given on the right. So, we have this one. Let P of X sub 0, uh, P, uh, point P, X sub 0, Y sub 0, be a point on the graph of Y is equal to F of X. Our objective is to find the equation of the tangent line TL to the graph at the point P, X sub 0, Y sub 0. So, class, ito yung uh, sa first part ng no ating video tutorial. So, ito yung gagawin natin. Again, ito yung ating uh, a curve, ito yung y is equal to f of x. We have here points p and then point, uh, points p and q. And then we have here the secant line. Ngayon class, hahanapin natin yung equation of the tangent line TL. So as you can see here, ini-intersect ng ating tangent line tong curve natin at exactly one point dito. At point x sub 0, y sub 0. So yun class, yung aarali natin, paano natin makukuha yung equation ng tangent line na TL at point X sub 0, Y sub 0. Okay, so let's now proceed. And so let's use the same illustration, yung illustration to sa previous slide. Ayan. So, class first, compute natin yung slope uh, nitong line PQ. So again, ang formula natin in finding the slope ay rise over run. So, di ba, isasubtract lang natin yung ating Y coordinates over uh, the difference naman ng X coordinates. So, in this case, y minus y sub 0 over x minus x sub 0. So, that will give us the slope of our secant line PQ. Since the tangent line is the limiting position of the secant lines, as Q approaches P, it follows that the slope of the tangent line TL at the, at the point P is the limit of the slopes of the secant lines PQ as x approaches x sub 0. Or in symbols, the slope of uh, the tangent line is equal to the limit of y minus y sub 0 over x minus x sub 0 as x approaches x sub 0. So, kagaya class ng in-illustrate natin kanina. ba kanina pinakita natin na kapag nag-locate tayo dito ng point sa left side ng Q, then nag-draw tayo dyan ng secant line, another point, so secant line uh, between that point and then P, between this point and then P, palapit ng palapit hanggang uh, makuha natin to itong ating line TL. 
Okay, so again, habang kumuha tayo ng points dito sa left ng ating uh, point Q, papalapit din naman yung ating x dito sa x sub 0. So again, hence, uh, the slope of the tangent line is equal to the limit of y minus y sub 0 over x minus x sub 0 as x approaches x sub 0. Uh, which is equal to the limit of f of x minus f of x sub 0 all over x minus x sub 0 as x approaches x sub 0. So, alam natin class na itong y na to ay equal lang sa f of x. And yung y sub 0 natin ay equal lang sa f of x sub 0. Okay? Ayan. Finally, since the tangent line passes through p up, uh, Point P, x sub 0, y sub 0, then its equation is given by y minus y sub 0 is equal to the slope of the tangent line times the quantity of x minus x sub 0. So, ito class yung ating point slope form. Okay? So, ayan yung mga gagamitin natin uh, dun sa mga susunod na examples. Let's proceed to our first example. Example number 1. Find the equation of the tangent line to y is equal to x squared at x is equal to 2. So first, para ma-visualize natin class kung ano yung hinihingi sa atin, uh, sketch muna natin yung graph. So pakita lang natin. So class, ito yung sketch ng graph ng y is equal to x squared. Pinapahanap sa atin is the equation of this tangent line here at x equals 2. So anong gagawin natin class? So again, we're, we're going to use this uh, formula first. Hanapin muna natin yung mga kailangan natin para ma-identify kung ano yung equation ng tangent line. And una doon ay yung slope. So we're going to use uh, uh we're going to find the slope of the tangent line first. So equal 'yon sa m is equal to the limit of y minus y sub 0 all over x minus x sub 0 as x approaches x sub 0. Ngayon, um, identify muna natin class. Ano ba yung x sub 0 natin? At ano yung y sub 0 natin? So, base sa given, ang x sub 0 natin ay 2. So, galing yun dito. At x equals 2. Ngayon, para makuha yung y sub 0, substitute lang natin tung 2 dito sa ating given na function. So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng y sub 0 is equal to 2 squared. Which is equal to 4. Hence, ang y sub 0 natin ay 4. Again, pinaltan lang natin, uh, sinapsishoot lang natin yung uh, x sub 0 na 2 dito sa ating um, function. So, compute natin yung y sub 0. Next, ayan. So, compute na natin class yung slope ng tangent line. So, again, it is equal to the limit of y minus y sub 0 all over x minus x sub 0 as x approaches x sub 0. So, equal yan sa... Limit of x squared minus 4 all over x minus 2 as x approaches 2. Sa so, isa-isahin natin. Yung y class, equal lang yan sa x squared. Base dito nga sa given. So, yung y natin, pinalitan na natin, ah, pinalitan na natin dito ng x squared. Yung y sub 0 natin, equal lang yan sa 4. So, meron kang y, x squared minus 4. And then, all over x, so kinopya lang, minus yung x sub 0 natin ay 2. Next, um, class, kung mapapansin natin, magkakaroon tayo dito ng indeterminate form. Kapag kinuha natin yung limit ng numerator as x approaches 2, mag-equal yan sa 0. Kasi uh, 2 squared ay 4, 4 minus 4 ay equal sa 0. And then, limit naman ng denominator as x approaches 2, magkakaroon ka ng 2 minus 2, which is also equal to 0. So, meron tayong indeterminate form of type 0 over 0. So, as mentioned dun sa previous uh, video tutorial natin, uh, in such cases, pwede tayong gumamit ng factoring or rationalization. So, in this case, we can do factoring. Actually, itong x squared minus 4, uh, we can factor this out. This is actually equal to quantity of x plus 2 times the quantity of x minus 2. Para ma-check, pwede nyo gamitan yung FOIL method. Pag kinuha yung product nito, dapat equal dito sa x squared minus 4. Okay? All over, again, kinopya lang yung denominator which is equal to x minus 2. Now, we can cancel out x minus 2. So, what will remain is the limit of x plus 2 as x approaches 2. So, using theorem number 2, uh, we can compute for f of 2. ba Para makuha yung limit ng no x plus 2 as x approaches 2. So, 
2, magkakaroon tayo dito ng 2 plus 2, which is equal to 4. So, hence, yung slope ng tangent line natin ay 4. Ngayon, hindi pa tayo natatapos dyan, class. Kasi, again, we're after the equation of the tangent line. So, we're going to use the point-slope form. Ito yung pinresent dun sa previous slide. So, we have here y minus y sub 0 is equal to m times the quantity of x minus x sub 0. So, we're going to use this. So, again, uh, i-substitute lang natin yung mga given. So, y minus 4, di ba? Kasi yung y sub 0 natin equals sa 4, is equal to, ano yung slope na na-compute natin kanina? 4. So, we have here 4 times the quantity of x minus, ano yung x sub 0 natin? 2. So, let's further simplify this. We can distribute 4 to x and negative 2. So, we will have um, y minus 4 is equal to 4x. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. So, y minus 4 is equal to 4x minus 8. Next, um, pwede natin itong uh, ilipat into its general form. So, ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. Or depende kung ano yung hinihingi sa inyo. Sige, try natin in general form. So, Uh, ang goal natin is maging 0 na lang yung right side. So, para mangyari yun, we can subtract 4x to both sides. And then, we can add 8 to, boy, to both sides of the equation. Para maging 0 na lang yung nasa right hand side. So, in doing so, magkakaroon tayo nito. So, negative 4x plus y minus 4 plus 8 is equal to 4x minus 4x minus 8 plus 8. So, again, ang goal natin, itong right-hand side natin, mag-equal na lang sa 0. Okay? So, kinuha lang natin. So, in essence, kinuha lang natin, class, uh, kung 4x yan, kailangan mo mag-minus ng 4x para maging 0 yan. Meron kang negative 8 dito, kailangan mo mag-add ng 8 para maging 0 to. Ngayon, kung ano yung ginawa natin sa right-hand side, Uh, kailangan din natin gawin sa uh, left-hand side since we're dealing with an equation. Kaya, nagkaroon tayo dito ng negative 4x tsaka plus 8. Diba? Originally, kanina, y minus 4 lang. Okay? So, uh, let's simplify this further. We'll have uh, negative 4x plus y and negative 4 plus 8 is equal to 4. So, negative 4x plus y plus 4 is equal to, again, yung right-hand side, na, side natin ay 0. So, this will be the equation of the tangent line to y is equal to x squared at x equals 2. Ito na yung final answer natin. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, yung equation pala ng tangent line na to, uh, sa, curve na, na, uh, sa graph ng y is equal to x squared at x equals 2 ay this one. Negative 4x plus y plus 4 is equal to 0. Let's now proceed to example number 2. Find the equation of the tangent line to the graph of f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 5 at x equals 1. So again, pakita lang natin yung sketch ng graph. So again, ito yung sketch ng graph ng x, uh, f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 5. So hahanapin natin, class, yung equation nitong tangent line na to at x equals 1. So, sundan lang din natin yung steps na ginawa natin kanina. So, identify muna natin. Ang x sub 0 dito sa at, uh, base sa ating given ay 1. And then, computing for y sub 0. So, again, substitute lang natin yung 1 sa lahat ng x's dito sa ating given. So, we will have 1 squared minus 4 times 1 plus 5. So, 1 squared ay 1. Uh, negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 So 1 minus 4 is negative 3 Plus 5 equal yan sa 2 Hence y sub 0 is equal to 2 Next uh, Let's now solve for the slope of the tangent line So again it is equal to the limit of y minus y sub 0 All over x minus x sub 0 As x approaches x sub 0 uh, So substitute lang natin class Yung data natin So we will have the limit of x squared minus 4x plus 5 minus 2 all over x minus 1. So, again, yung y natin, equal lang yan sa x squared minus 4x plus 5. Again, galing yan dito sa given. So, again, y ay pareho lang ng f of x. Kasi ang f of x is the function value at x. Okay? So, yung y natin, ito na siya. x squared minus 4x plus 5 minus yung y sub 0 natin, again, is 2 
all over x minus, ang x sub 0 natin here is 1. Okay? So, we're going to find the, its limit as x approaches 1. So, again, yung x sub 0 natin ay 1. And So, let's simplify further the numerator. So, x squared minus 4x plus 5 minus 2. So, 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. So, magkakaroon na tayo dito ng x squared minus 4x plus 3 all over x minus 1. So, again, class, uh, for this particular example, uh, kapag kinuha natin yung limit ng numerator as x appro ah, ng limit ng denominator as x approaches 1, actually, mag equal sa 0 yung denominator. In the same manner, kapag kinuha natin yung limit ng numerator as x approaches 1, magkakaroon din tayo ng 0. So, again, uh, meron ulit tayo dito ang indeterminate form of type 0 over 0. So, we can actually find the factors of uh, the numerator. So, that will be quantity of x minus 3 times the quantity of x minus 1. Ayan. So, all over, kopyahin lang natin yung denominator na x minus 1. So, same process. Uh, we can uh, cancel out x minus 1. So, what will remain here is the limit of x minus 3 as x approaches 1. So, again, using theorem number 2, we can solve for f of 1. Okay, para malaman yung limit nito. Nung x minus 3 as x approaches 1. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 1 minus 3 equal lang yun sa negative 2. Hence, ang slope of the tangent line natin ay equal sa negative 2. Next thing na gagawin natin, again, gagamitin natin yung point-slope form. So, substitute natin yung mga given. So, magkakaroon tayo ng y minus, ano yung y sub 0 kanina? 2 is equal to, na-compute natin na slope, negative 2 times the quantity of x minus, ano x sub 0 natin? 1. So, let's simplify this further. So, negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 1, we have here positive 2. So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng y minus 2 is equal to negative 2x plus 2. Next, kung kukunin natin yung general form, again, ang aim natin magkaroon, uh, maging 0 yung right-hand side. So, mag a tayo ng 2x both sides and then magsasubtract tayo ng 2 both sides then Okay? So, in doing so, ang magiging resulting uh, equation natin is 2x plus y and negative 2 minus 2 is equal to negative 4. So, meron ka dito negative 4. So, 2x plus y minus 4 is equal to 0. So, 0 na itong right-hand side natin. So, this will be the equation of the tangent line to the graph of f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 5 at x equals 1. So, ito na yung equation na tangent line na ito.